Salute, salute, salute. Uh, first of all, man, you know, on this channel, man, we don't we don't uh, kick a man while he down. You know what I'm saying? I give credit to both fighters. Congratulations on Javante Tank Davis and his victory. Uh, six round knockout, one punch knockout to a uh, Roly Rolando Romero. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I don't kick a man while he down. Um, he tried to come in and impose his will, use his size, land that power punch. I think once it got out of the first round, he started to really realize it's a difference between hitting the pads and hitting a, a moving target and one that's elusive like Tank. You know what I'm saying? Small, fast guy that know how to box with skills and use the ring. Um, I think we've seen what, you know, Javante Tank Davis' kryptonite really is. And it's, following some, it's fighting somebody that's like shorter than him. You know what I'm saying? Um, who has their fair share of skills as well. A la, voila, you know what I'm saying? Isaac Cruz gave Javante Tank Davis a much more difficult time. Uh, you know, he hurt his hand or whatever, trying to punch down on that on the, on the shorter man. I think if they fight again, he'll find a way to uh, get Isaac Cruz out of there or at least have a more um, dominated performance. Either way, man, Roly Romero, uh, he had the galls to get inside the ring and um, fight. He came up very short. He just was, he just too, he's not on the level of Javante Tank Davis, not even close. Um, Javante Tank Davis is so fast, you know, uh, dodging, moving, swinging around, pivots. And uh, when he would get in close, he would just grab and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Roly Romero may trip me out. He's talking about, he just ran the whole time and I just got hit with one punch. And I think he's still, I mean, he's the type of person that we all know he not gonna learn this lesson off of an ass whooping, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's very severe. I almost kind of did wish that the uh, referee would have let the fight continue because I wanted to see Javante Tank Davis really start to uh, put on the full display and massacre and dominate and destroy this dude. And like you said, make bullet throw in the towel. But it just so happened that it was just that one punch landed clean. And uh, you seen Roly Romero on the ground, totally disconnected his brain was totally disconnected from his lower extremities. Like he was down there looking like, you know, you know, you kill a roach and their leg is still kind of kicking. I mean, he, he was down there trying to get his, 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 his body, you know, wiggle your big toe, kill Bill, wiggle your big toe. And once he stood up, his legs was gone and uh, he was pretty much out on his feet. The referee recognized that, did his job. I'm not mad at the stoppage. I just wanted to see the fight go on just a little bit longer because I think Tank would have really been able to in, 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 in dramatic fashion, dispatch Roly Rolando Romero. But at the same time, um, for the six rounds it was, it was it was action packed for as long as it lasts. It was a great fight, you know what I'm saying? I think it proved a lot. Um, I don't know if what's gonna happen as far as Javante Tank Davis, if he's gonna be calling out Devin Haney's and Ryan Garcia, or if he's gonna double back and go fight Isaac Cruz. Either way, I, I honestly say that, um, Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia should stay away from Javante Tank Davis. Um, the only time I look at Javante, the, 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 the toughest competition I see for Javante Tank Davis will be at 140, a fight against Regis Progress or a fight against Josh Taylor. If he fights Devin Haney, if Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying, is successful in Australia, he should stay over there. You know what I'm saying? If he comes back home with those belts, I would like to see how that's going to play out whether or not he's going to avoid or if he's going to put himself back in the line of fire with Javante Tank Davis. Of course, he's in the contract where he has to fight twice and then even maybe maybe possibly fight um, Lomachenko. But I just, I think those would be safer routes for him at this time. You know, Javante Tank Davis, Javante Tank Davis is very dangerous and uh, he, his power is, is, is crazy and he has he has the IQ and the great boxing skills. So maybe he'll get a fight with Ryan Garcia. Maybe he'll get a fight with Isaac Cruz. Um, most likely he is gonna, I think under his own promotional type company, I think, you know, Al Heyman and another LB still gonna have um, their hands on the steering wheel. To a certain extent, I think they are really gonna give him a little bit more power within his own promotional company to be his own man and, and make his own calls. So that's just a step up and as far as he's graduating. He's just stepping up to where they 
they did what they could do for him to this point. And I think they still gonna have a lot of say so in his career, but they're gonna give him a lot more control of his own destiny. And I can respect that and salute that. But I will, I will I'm interested to see if he is able to land that big, big fight against a Devin Haney, especially if Devin Haney becomes undisputed. And if not, if he can land a big fight with George the Ferocious Cambosis, I really don't see that lasting six rounds either, to be honest. Well, not, not with George the Ferocious Cambosis, but I think it will be. I think those two styles would match up perfectly. I know with Devin Haney, you got that, that master skillful boxer against Javante Tank Davis, who is a boxer, brawler, knockout artist, all combined in one. Uh, I give the edge to Javante Tank Davis, but I could see Devin Haney using his uh, his range and working behind the jab and trying to make that into a boring fight. George the Ferocious Cambosis is not going to do that with Tank, so I, I think that'll be a high octane fight. I always thought that the best fights with Javante Tank Davis would be with Tio Pumil Lopez, Ryan Garcia. Now with um, you know what I'm saying uh, George the Ferocious Cambosis. And also, I was always saying Regis Pro Grace or Josh Taylor against Javante Tank Davis. Those will be excellent fights. So now that he's, you know, behind the steering wheel and in his own, uh, you know, his own career, maybe we'll be able to see those big fights with Javante Tank Davis. But as far as 135 and below, I just don't see nobody being able to, you know, handle him. Period. Point blank. He's just too much. He's just too hot to handle. Too hold. Too 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 cold to hold. This is boxing nocturnal thoughts, man. I want to hold y'all alone. You know what I'm saying? Salute, salute to Roly Romero, man. He came in there and he did his thing. 